What's up guys? I hope you're all doing good and staying safe in this quarantine. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make a workout video, at least some exercises that don't require equipment or require minimal equipment for you guys. So yeah, I'm gonna start with um, the most common or yeah, it's probably the most common which is a push up and I'm gonna show you guys some progressions and um, if you guys want more advanced um, things to do with the push-up I'm gonna show you guys that also oh yeah before we start the exercises or training the most important thing you should do is always warm up or stretch just to get your body warm and ready for the exercises so you can do almost anything for warm-ups to be honest so waving your hands around walking as long as it gets your body moving Close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left So after you're done with the warm-ups We can proceed to the actual exercises And I'm gonna show you guys Okay, so that's the push-up and if you guys can't do a push-up or can only do like really little reps like maybe like two to five reps um, I suggest you do something else which is this exercise right here So what you want to do is find an elevated surface, could be a chair, could be a bench, could be a table and do a push up from there. In this way, it's going to be a lot easier because you're, uh, you're not carrying the full weight of your body and it's a really good progression for learning how to do a standard push up. So for those people that think the standard push ups is too easy and you want more of a challenge, I have two ways of making it harder actually no I have three ways of making it harder but I'm gonna demonstrate two ways because the third way is just to slow down the movement so you basically do the push-ups but you don't do it like super fast just make sure there's time under tension there and that's gonna be a lot harder than most people think so here I'll show you the two other ways so one way is that you want to grab a bag and then put things in it like books or something heavy. Right now I I borrowed like books from my sister. So I'm just going to put it in the bag. And then proceed to do push-ups with the weighted bag. That's it. So I'll show you a video here. Finding life along the way, melodies we haven't played. No, I don't want no rest. Echoing around these walls, fighting to create a song. I don't want to miss. So that's one of the ways to make. Uh, push-ups a harder exercise I know it's not much but we don't really have a choice because we don't have a lot of weight in our to, in our disposal right now so we gotta do what we gotta do with what we have okay so here's the other way to make the push-ups harder I'm gonna show you Shadow 
Turns the sun rays And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands Through the highways And So since an incline push-up would be a lot easier than a standard push-up there's the decline push-ups which is the opposite which is you get a stool or a chair or a table and you put your legs above it and then you do a push-up this makes it um target the upper chest not by a lot but more than the standard push-up and it's harder than the standard push-up so if you wanna do one step harder than your regular push-up then you should try it out so the next exercise or exercises are gonna be for the shoulder mainly um for the anterior and the medial head of the deltoid which is your front shoulder and your middle shoulder in layman's term um so basically what you want to do is i'm, I'm going to show you how but you you'll need um a small object not 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 too big not too small something you can carry in the palm of your hand and yeah not too much weight also because you don't you don't really need a lot of weight for this exercise so here let me show you so what i've got here is a book that i also just borrowed and what you want to do is you're gonna want to raise your arm forward and then just bounce it up and down and this looks super easy but i promise you after a while it's gonna burn and even though the the weight is just super light you're really gonna feel that and the other one is sideways so yeah I know it looks super silly but trust me it works you should try it out so the next exercise I'm gonna show you guys is a squat but not just the regular air squat so um, the only thing you'll need is something with weight. Not not very heavy, but just something. Right now, I'm gonna be using this one. It's a five gallon of water. Pretty sure um, most of you have it. If not all, then there's a lot of different alternatives. You can even use a, there's a pail there. You can use that or any other object. So here, let me demonstrate to you how how it should be. So what you guys want to do is you just pick up the weight like this and then squat it. So, it's not much, but it's definitely better than having no weight at all and just doing an air squat. But if you can't carry a weight, then I guess air squat would be good for you. But in case it's, it's not enough, then you can try doing that. Oh yeah, one thing about doing squats and especially when it has weight is make sure your back isn't curved because if your back is curved then that's a recipe for injury so um it's actually a good thing that you're you, you're using um weights like um a gallon of water because it puts your body in a better position to squat without your back having to round unlike um the barbell squat which a lot of people don't really know how to squat properly and they end up injuring themselves so yeah it's better to avoid injury especially for people that just there's they're just starting to get into working out so yeah that's it hello mo the next exercise i'm gonna show you guys is 
another really common exercise which is the pull up and all you need is um, a pull up bar or maybe like a pole that you can hang on to so I've got um, a pull up bar in my garden that's like really old but since nobody uses it um, they ended up using it as a hi hayan or like the place where they where you hang your clothes so I'm gonna show you guys what a pull up is I'm pretty sure you guys know what a pull up is but like how to progress to doing a pull up so guys this is how a normal pull up should look like don't do any half reps make sure it's a whole rep so you go all the way up and then all the way down and when you do this make sure your shoulders are retracted so you don't get injured or have any problems with your shoulders all right so for those of you that don't know how to do a pull up or can't do a pull up yet this is gonna be a simple progression on how to learn the pull up all you need is a chair so apparently my pull up bar is pretty high so i ended up using a table but you can use anything depends on the height so what you want to do is put one foot on the, on top of the table then use that leverage to pull yourself up as you can see the table's still too short but i suggest you find something that's just the right height for you so the other tip that i can give you for learning how to do your first pull up is find a stool or something to stand on and then jump up the bar and then slowly lower your body down this is the eccentric part of the movement and this will build strength for you to be able to do a pull up alright guys so that's how you learn how to do a pull up or at least how I learned how to do a pull up and if you don't have a pull up bar or like can't find anything to hang on to I'm gonna show you guys one back exercise that maybe you could do instead of doing a pull up so what you want to do here is get under a table and then you pull yourself up so this will simulate some kind of row for your back and it's pretty useful if you don't have anything else so that's it guys those are my basic workouts and if you guys enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below what you guys want to see next what type of video should i make and peace Are you gonna work out too? Is that a yes?